All right, so before you start, head over to sws-extension.org. This will lead you to a website to a Reaper plugin extension called SWS slash SNM extension. This is important for pretty much most things that you do in Reaper. So uh, go ahead and download that according to your OS and then we can get started. So now we're back in the session. I have a beat here. And before we get into that, go ahead up to file and go to project settings or press alt enter or option enter if you're on Mac. Um, the time base for item slash envelope slash markers, put that in time. And the time base for temple slash time signature envelope, put that in beats. So we're going to press OK. And once we do that, let's, let's hear the beat out. Okay, so now let's hear it with the metronome. So obviously this thing is not in tempo and it's clearly not at 120. So I want to find out what the tempo is for this one. Now, since in our case, simply this is just a beat here. It just goes four measures. So how I would usually do it is I would focus on the first beat of every measure so this one dead giveaway we use the M key to put in markers and uh, we just play play to the next measure I just count one two three four one so we're back to one in the this is the second measure this is back to one so what I do is I use the tab key to tap to, to snap to the next transient and this is this is the uh, second measure, the first beat. So what I want to do here is I would add another marker, and then I would do the same thing for the rest. So we'll just speed this along here. All right, so we've got the markers done uh, for the first beats of every measure. Now what we want to do next is we're going to time select it. So drag your mouse from the end all the way to the beginning and go ahead to extensions and drop down to tempo and then convert project markers to tempo markers now the markers per measure we're gonna do one time signature stays at four four and uh, personally I will personally I would remove project markers sometimes if I made a mistake I probably want to remove it but it's your personal preference so now, in this case, we are going to convert, given that we've select, time selected the whole uh, clip, we're gonna press convert, and boom, we have, have the tempo markers set for the, the uh, clip. And this is pretty much how to do it. I've looked at pretty much most other tutorials on how to do this in Reaper, and I find them very uh, long and time consuming, so, you know, so uh, this is a good way to just do this easily and time and more efficiently. And I know like if, you know, you got to tempo mark a song just so you can maybe reference, do a reference or something like that or try to do a cover or something like that, which I've done. Uh, you can do like this in Reaper uh, specifically. And this is and this for me personally, because I'm also a Pro Tools user. So, you know, time is time and I can get pretty impatient. So uh, without any further ado, uh, if this is helpful, give it a like. Mm -hmm. 